All right, back for another episode of Radical Persuasion. Today I'm going over Derek Sivers and the most successful email he ever wrote. So Derek is the author of Anything You Want. Um, he's been interviewed on the Tim Ferriss podcast. And I was recently reminded of, uh, of this email after I, I had listened to that episode a while back. Um, but um, Chris Orzakowski uh, in his Copy Chief training brought this up again, um, talking about um, you know how to make an impression on, on uh, your customers. Um, and he's talking mostly about the e-commerce space. Um, but... Uh, a, a cool way to bring people into your world, uh, add a little excitement, um, increase engagement, and uh, make your your brand memorable. Um, you know, whatever that product might be, and fun way to do that. So, um, again, this is Radical Persuasion, discovering the psychology and copywriting secrets behind great offers. Um, quick about me: I'm a direct response copywriter and growth strategist. I mostly help businesses in info, health, tech, and finance. Um, use emails, landing pages, and sales letters to get in touch. So. If you are curious about working with me or you want a free copywriting video training, go ahead and visit my website here, michaeljmcgovern.com, and I'll hook it up. All right, so Derek Sivers had a, a successful uh, CD business back in the day when uh, people still use CDs, and um, he said that uh, for the first little while, when someone would order a CD from his company, uh, this is the email that would go out to them. It says, your order has shipped today. Please let us know if it doesn't arrive. Thank you for your business. And as he says here, after a few months, that felt really incongruent with my mission to make people smile. I knew I could do better. So I took 20 minutes and wrote this goofy little thing. So here's the email separated by these dividers here. Your CD has been gently taken from our CD baby shelves with sterilized contamination-free gloves and placed on a satin pillow. A team of 50 employees inspected your CD and polished it to make sure that it was in the best possible condition before mailing. Our packaging specialist from Japan lit a candle and a hush fell over the crowd as he put your CD into the finest gold lined box that money can buy. We all had a wonderful celebration afterwards and the whole party marched down the street to the post office where the entire town of Portland waved bon voyage to your package on its way to you in our private CD baby jet on this day, Friday, June 6th. I hope you had a wonderful time shopping at CD baby. We sure did. Your picture is on our wall as customer of the year. We're all exhausted, but can't wait for you to come back to cdbaby.com. So um, as he goes on to say in this quick little post, um, uh, if you want to uh, see this full post, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much showing you the full post right now, but it's sivers.org slash cdbe, um, maybe cdbaby email. Um, but um, but as he says, like, you know, if you type in these days, if you type in private CD baby jet on Google, you'll get almost a thousand results. So that one goofy little email that he sat down to write for 20 minutes created thousands of new customers. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a cool uh, example of just having fun with with your marketing. And this is the interesting thing about that that really caught my attention about this or is catching my attention as I'm thinking about it um, is that. You know, an order confirmation is sometimes just the most ignored email of all time. You know, it's like you know that the order came through. Maybe you you see the subject line, and you're like, okay, um, that's interesting. But he took that you know overlooked opportunity to uh, add a little bit of you know s uh, special magic to his brand and his company. You know, it's, it's these like little details that you know companies like Disney are just. You know, masters at which is just you know creating a world, creating an environment, um, putting a smile on people's faces. You know, um, uh, unsuspect, unsuspecting, um, in un at unsuspected moments. You know, little surprises that um, can uh, add value um, that is beyond just the product that you're that you're delivering. So, um, it's also good to think about you know where this email isn't necessarily a direct response because you know the the order is complete, right? So this is. This is less about like get going after the sale and maybe building more of a long-term brand and um, feeling around, you know, in Derek Sivers' case here, CD Baby, um, which, you, you know, you might not be able to see in the short run. Like you can't say, oh, this many order confirmation emails out went out and therefore now those people returned and bought, you know, in one week or two weeks. But um, maybe they share it. Maybe um, it creates loyalty in them because they say, "Well, I've bought CDs from, you know, tons of other places, and I've never had something cool like this uh, come in and um, you know make me feel good." Um, 
because if you know your product's not making feel, people feel good um, after you know getting them the result, then you know what are you doing? So cool way to uh, you know use a little bit of uh, um, not over exaggeration. What's the word I'm thinking of? Um, I don't know. Just making making the story exciting and uh, and using a little bit of uh, imagination and fiction, unless they really did all of this, which uh, I doubt. Um, but uh, a, a good way to um, you know put a smile on people's faces, um, make make yourself memorable, increase engagement, um, you know, create marketing that people want to share, just totally on their own, you know, not because it's something about marketing like a, a lot of these people that shared it early on back in the day you know the internet was a little bit younger uh, i'm sure they were sending it out just because it was funny you know they shared it with a friend um, they probably weren't even in marketing they just wanted to you know share something uh, cool that was out of the ordinary and pattern breaking too um, it's a real pattern breaker when you see something like that especially when it's something that's uh that's um uh you know associated with something boring like in, in order confirmation so um, or I guess, uh, you know, just a reminder to have fun. So that's it for this one. Um, if you'd like to, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you, if you did in the comment and, uh, if you've got a project coming up or, uh, you know, someone who needs uh, copywriting in, uh, all these sectors or even something outside of that sector, if it's something interesting, um, I'm always looking for good people to work with. So you can just visit my website there, book a call and we can connect. All right. Until next time, this has been Radical Persuasion. Talk to you soon.